Hey everyone, if you haven't seen episode one of The Race Walking Dead, go watch it. Also, we had a busy weekend at Runnerspace with USATF, Club Cross Country Nationals, Junior Olympics, and Foot Locker Nationals. All coming up, you're watching Runnerspace Live. <laughs> All right, for the next four Thursdays, we'll be rolling out the remaining episodes of The Race Walking Dead. Check out a clip from last week's show. Previously on Runner Space Lives, The Race Walking Dead. I must say, it has been pretty nice visiting the South. It's good getting out of Eugene for a little bit. Yeah, you know, you are a long way from home. <laughs> for a few months now. That race you were in, someone was bit by a zombie. He even got my wife. If we get to Eugene, there's a shot we can beat this thing. All right, and episode two comes out tomorrow, so tune in. It's the Awkward Video of the Week. All right, two more things. First, check out our extensive coverage from this last weekend, the USATF Club Cross Country Nationals, Junior Olympics, and Foot Locker Nationals. I'll have links to all those in the description. Lastly, show everyone how big of a Runner Space Live fan you are with the Runner Space Live t-shirt, available at runnerduckprints.com slash runnerspacelive. But hurry, these things are going like hotcakes, so get it while supplies last. It would make a great holiday gift. It's the Runner, Runner Space Runner Rundown. Rundown. It's the high school rundown. All right, Foot Locker Nationals weekend. Let's start with the girls race. It was Tessa Barrett of Pennsylvania who broke course records in every race she ran through her state meet. Pulled away for the victory here in the final 300 to get the win with a 17-16. Hannah DeBalsi made a push for the lead late in the race but ended up second with a 17-26. South Region champion Caroline Alcorta was third with a 17-31. Junior Anosh Shihata was fourth in a 17-35. And Anna Maxwell of California rounded out top five. And of course, you gotta look at which region was the strongest when scored as a team. The Northeast came out on top with 26 points. On to the guys race. It was 350 1500 meter runner and Michigan State champion Grant Fisher who got the victory running a 1507. It was a close battle at the end with John Dressel but he used his 1500 meter speed to get the victory as Dressel of Washington took second with a 1510 and Matthew Maytown of Oregon was third with a 1519. Remarkably the top three here were all juniors for the first time in Foot Locker history. In fourth place was the top senior Mickey Burke of New York in a 1520 and senior Joe Hardy of Seattle Prep rounding out the top five with a 1522. And take Taking five out of the top seven places was the West Region, getting the regional team victory with 23 points. And also this weekend, the meet that I was at, the USATF National Junior Olympic Cross Country Championships in San Antonio, Texas. In the girls' 17-18 division, not exactly a high schooler, but Carly Garcia, freshman at Old Miss, dominated, winning by over a minute with a 17-36. And in the guys' 17-18 division, Arcadia High School's Esteban De La Rosa, fresh off a fifth place finish at Nike Cross Nationals last week, got a commanding victory here, running a 15-31 to win by over 30 seconds. It's the College Pro Rundown. Okay, let's start off with yet another meet we were at this weekend, the USATF National Club Cross Country Championships in Bend, Oregon. In the open men's race, Club Northwest's Joe Gray, a trail running specialist who was recently second at the Xterra World Trail Running Championships, got the win here on this difficult 10K course running at 3105, beating out second place Sean Quigley of Boulder Track Club by six seconds. The open men's team champs were Champions League Athletic Performance. Led by Brent Vaughn's fourth place finish, they beat out Zap Fitness by just one point. In the women's open, the individual champ was Laura Thweet of Boulder Track Club. She dominated the 6K, winning by 20 seconds in a 21:43. Beasts Track Club of Seattle, Washington won the women's team title with 34 points, led by third and fourth place finishers Deborah Mayer and Angela Bazzari. At the Cross Internacional de Vente de Baños in Spain, Mercy Chirona became the first back-to-back -back champion here, winning the 6.775K in a 23:08. And lastly, the most important news of the week: a new Guinness World Record for the 100K treadmill team run. A team of 12 Belgian dudes completed the 100. K in a time of 5 hours, 1 minute, and 20.75 seconds. 
The 100 meter and that world record is Lokers. Now for the most part, I don't know what they're talking about, but I'm pretty sure they told the United States to eat their heart out. Eat your heart out, United States, eat your heart out. And you know what? I got some leftover lasagna in the refrigerator with my name on it, so I think I just might. It's the Road Racing Rundown. All right, here we go. The Delhi Half Marathon in India. A new course record on the men's side as Ethiopian at Seydut Sege broke Dariba Murga's course record by three seconds as he got the win with a 59-12, taking home $32,500. Kenyan Florence Kipple got won the women's race by a narrow margin of three seconds and a 108 flat. At the Hofu Marathon in Japan, Mongolia's Surad Batochir broke his own Mongolian national record, winning the race with a 209 flat. And in second place was Japan's Yuki Kawuchi, running in his 11th marathon of the year, finishing in a 209.15, which is his second sub 210 marathon in two weeks, which has never been done before. And lastly, the biggest road racing news of the week, in a titanic John Henry-esque battle of man versus machine, the world's fastest man, Usain Bolt, raced a bus on the streets of Argentina. Surely, in order to claim this victory, he would have to push himself further than humanly possible. Nope, actually, it was pretty anticlimactic. All right, that'll do it for this week. Don't forget, episode two, Race Walking Dead, comes out tomorrow. Runner Space Live. Signing out.